There's one reason that Logan Paul would file this lawsuit against CoffeeZilla, and it's very simple. He is setting the tone now. These are the new rules, okay? What's Logan Paul going to do with all his money? He's like, I'm done being people's punching bag. I won't allow it anymore. If you want to make critical videos of me on YouTube, I'm going to sue you. If you want to talk negatively about my girl, I'm going to sue you. You want to talk negatively about my fights, I'm going to sue you. If you want to do anything that I don't like, I'm going to sue you. And when it comes to, you know, deciding who the shady party is in this whole thing, I'm like, let's look at history. Who's the shady party? You have Ryan Garcia, who's passed every single test he's ever taken, except for a couple of tests right around the uh, right around the fight. Devin Haney has no history of doing anything shady personally. And then you have Victor Conti on Devin Haney's team. Literally one of the shadiest PED characters in the history of professional sports who founded the organization that supposedly found that Ryan Garcia had Austria in his system. Oh, also coincidentally found that he had Nandrolone in his system in the first test and then they just like changed their mind and no one's asking any questions about that. Okay, look for the shady guy. It's Victor Conti. He's on Devin Haney's team, not on Ryan Garcia's team. So I hope when people come to my channel, one of the things that they can expect to see is a measured and balanced take regardless of the topic and regardless of who the topic is about. What? Or who is the topic? You understand what I'm saying. And I will give a fair shake to anyone, okay? Like as an example, if I was going to talk about people filing lawsuits, as I did in the case I'm about to cite, Logan Paul suing Ryan Garcia. What did I say about that? I said, you can't say that this that some guy's product is going to kill you and then say that they're finding arsenic in it and things like that if you aren't expecting to get sued. You can't do that. Those are not things that you can do and expect to get away with without finding yourself in court, right? So I hope I've established credibility when I say that I don't understand when suing people just became commonplace and now, that oh, it's just cool. It's fine, dude. You know, it's totally fine for people to just sue people. Like Logan Paul has now sued Dylan Dennis, uh, Dylan Dennis over, you know, I don't think we need to re, you know, relitigate that whole situation. Okay. Ryan Garcia. All right. Ryan Garcia one, I gave him a pass on. And now CoffeeZilla. So now he's suing CoffeeZilla. This, this, uh, this, this entire crypto zoo thing is over. This has been over. It's over. He did this, you know, whatever payback program thing that he did, whatever. But now he's suing CoffeeZilla. Okay. And then you also have you also have Devin Haney saying he's going to sue Ryan Garcia uh, over his over this situation with the PEDs, right? Which I will just openly say I am wildly suspicious of of the Devin Haney camp. Watching Devin Haney on uh, on Ariel's show, though, as we will later in this video, uh, I think he might be, like, um, ignorant of everything that's going on. I think there might be some conspirators that are keeping him in the dark, you know? Making him think that Ryan Garcia really cheated and that's the only reason that he lost. And so he's going out here and making a fucking fool out of himself, you know? Saying things like he says on Ariel's show while the real conspirators in the back are all, hey, listen, man. For, you know, yeah, you know, we can make it pop hot. We can make it pop hot for Nandrolone. N never mind. <laughs> Nandrolone's not really in his system, but it is Osterine. Uh, oh, yeah, how much Osterine was in there? Mm, 17 billionths of a gram. What? I'm sorry, what'd you say? 17 billionths of a gram. So would that have any positive effect on his performance? Huh? Uh, did that have any positive impact on his performance? I don't know. It's hard to say. No, nope, it's not. It's actually not hard to say. Uh, it didn't, right? But you're going to parade your boy out there, you know, convince him like he's a racehorse, you know, like he's a racehorse. Like, don't worry, man. <laughs> there was nothing fair about that. Okay. I don't even know what I'm talking about other than to say, when did it become cool to sue people? When did this become cool? Especially in the fight game. Especially in the fight game. The Dylan Dennis one and, the, and this Devin and Ryan Garcia thing is like... And I'm going to compare the Devin Haney one to the Brock Lesnar situation with the UFC when Mark Hunt sued the UFC because that is 20 times more understandable than this utter nonsense that Devin Haney is pretending like he is justified in doing. Anyway, so that's what we're going to talk about. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I appreciate you guys doing that. Now, I'm really trying to turn over a new leaf on topics like this. You know, when I talk about these things where obviously there's always two sides to every story, and I find myself in many cases just going so hard in one direction that when I think back on it later, when new information comes out, I'm like, I mean, I could have probably been more fair to this guy. So I'm going to try very hard to do that with Devin Haney here because at the end of the day, you know, 
I, do I think he's a bad guy? No, I don't. I don't think any of these guys are bad guys. I don't think, I mean, there are very few people that I think are like genuinely bad guys, including Logan. I don't think the bad guy thing exists in most cases. I do think people are handling things poorly, but in this case, we're going to, I'm going to go through what Devin Haney says, and I'm going to talk about the legitimacy because no, even no matter what he says, the lawsuit thing is so ludicrous that I'm going to be able to get that point across while not just completely hammering him. So let's just jump into what he says here with Ariel and, uh, and we'll get into it. I thought Ariel did a good job kind of driving the conversation in the direction that it needed to go to get Devin to say the things he said. We're given the opportunity to do again, you wouldn't do given what you saw from I mean, him that week. I could have did I, I could have did I could have did things differently, but you know, once you once you go in there with a guy who's who's on PDs, it doesn't matter. You can do everything in the world. You can put, you know, clauses, you can do whatever whatever you want, but you know, you aren't on an even playing field and um that just eliminates everything. You know, you know, once you once one guy is on pet um, PDs and one guy isn't, it it, it 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 doesn't matter at that point. This is straight up denial. I I mean, it, well, okay. I'm sorry. No, nope. let me give you two sides of this. Devin Haney, do you think that if I ran a crazy like the hottest cycle that a person could run to make me the most athletically ready to go person on the face of the earth to box specifically, that I'm going to have any chance against you in boxing? Of course not, dude. Okay, of course not. It's just ridiculous. So what does that tell you? It tells you that there is a combination of skill, athleticism, and then how finely tuned a person's body can be, which is going to determine how they perform in the ring. And then obviously that night, how are they going to perform, right? The mental state, okay? And the point that I'm making about that is that if there was no real benefit given to Ryan by the PEDs, which there weren't, okay, then your entire argument falls apart. And there wasn't any benefit given to Ryan. There is a ton of super shady stuff about the testing and what came up and all that. But this story that you're telling yourself that Ryan was this super souped up version of himself and you were just regular old Devin Haney is ridiculous. It's not reality, okay? Now, one thing that I will say that I do respect about the fact that he sounds like he has no idea what he's talking about is I like that a, that like a professional athlete who's not supposed to use PEDs would not know anything about PEDs. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like why would I want a guy? Like, I, 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 would, I would like for everybody to be fighting on an even playing field. And so if a guy is going to sit here and just in absolute sheer ignorance act like, you know, a t you know 20 billionth of a gram of Austrian is this super unfair thing. I'm like, wow, this guy doesn't know shit. But at the same time, why would it? Why would he know shit if he doesn't use them? So I can give him a pass on that part of it, you know? But there is a huge gap between, oh, I think this is unfair and I'm going to sue him for damages, okay? Like, there's that's those are two very different things. Did you suspect this at all? Did you ever hear any inklings of this kind of activity? No, no not, not like from his side, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, 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 I didn't, I, I didn't. No, it, it was it was news to me when it came out. I didn't I didn't know anything of it. Hey, hey, wasn't news to your little brother though. Wasn't news to your little brother. How'd you how'd your little your brother knew though because God told him. You guys better tighten that camp up, dude. If you're gonna pull shit like this, you know. He still maintains this was all done unknowingly, contaminated substances and all that. Do you believe that? No, I don't believe that. Um, at the end of the day, if you genuinely felt that. Why did he? Why did he? You know, he admitted to it. He he he, he took the he forfeited the the million dollars. He 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 took his suspension. This is what he agreed to. So he basically took a took took a took a plea deal. He didn't take he didn't take it to trial. He didn't try to fight it fight it or nothing like that. He he owned up to it to the commission. Uh, he signed he signed a contract, whatever the case may be. That this is this is my suspension. This is what it this is what it is. So. No, uh, 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 a guy who who failed five different tests. No, dude, I'm gonna tell you right now. I was suspicious that maybe Devin Haney is in the dark on all this. I would say now I'm certain. I am certain that the information he's getting is from other people in his camp who are telling him what they want him to hear, because he really believes this. I mean, I would bet my life on this. He really believes this. He thinks that Ryan intentionally took it. He thinks that Ryan intentionally took it. He thinks that Ryan accepted all of this and is not disputing it, none of that stuff, okay? Like, this is not, like, I, I actually believe Devin Haney. 
which again softens me a little bit on him. Um, actually, it softens me a lot on him, to be honest, because I'm trying to put myself in a position where, like, I had an undefeated record, you know, I had beat everybody, and then some dude came in and beat me in front of the entire world, really embarrassed me given the circumstances of the fight. And then I really believe that he had come in just straight up juiced out of his mind. Would I sue him? I don't know. No, no. I would just be like, let's just fight clean. See how that goes. I can't get to a place where I'm suing him. But the people around him really need to check themselves. Because you need to start giving Victor Conti, this scumbag on Devin Haney's team, he knows the truth about all of this. And I'm not talking about whether I'm not talking about him rigging Ryan's test. I'm talking about like, did Ryan get any benefit from the billionths of a gram of, of Austrian? You know he didn't. So if Devin believes that he does, or did, because he does, that means they're intentionally misleading him. Bottom line. Let's continue. It, it, it wasn't unknowingly. Have you talked to him off, you know, out of the public eye, like just, you know, off? Oh, for the record, I 100% do not believe that Ryan intentionally took Austrian. No, I don't. And I find it shocking that no one is talking about the fact that Nandrolone was in his original test and then they just turned around and were like, never mind. How is that not a, to- how is that not a talking point? How am I the only person talking about that part? All right, let's continue and uh, we'll get to where he says he's going to sue him. Record, have you guys had any kind of conversations since all this came out? Nah, um... Nah, he be messaging me, like, on Instagram and shit like that, like, trying to be cool, like, trying to be, like, I don't I don't know. Some, some, we all know, you know, it's something odd with him. And uh, for him to, for, like, it's cool for me to message, for him to message me, we not, none of that, it's none of that is going on. Like, for the shit that he did, I, I, want, I want to make him pay for the shit that he did in the ring, out the ring, however. And so what kind of- That is so, that is weird, though. Like, Ryan's just all, what's up, man? We're good. Like, but again, I mean, listen, dude, Ryan is a weird dude, obviously. Ryan's a weird dude. And again, Devin, I think, really believes that he did this. I don't. I, I'll tell you right now, I do not believe Ryan Garcia intentionally took PEDs. I don't. I don't believe it. And I am not a person who usually gives people the benefit of the doubt on things like that. I I do not believe he intentionally took it. I think that if you look for a situation where you're looking for, like, who's the shady party, look for the shady party, okay? And that's easy. Victor Conti is the shady party. That's the guy. And whose team is he on? Not Ryan Garcia's. He's on Devin's. And he founded the testing agency that popped Ryan for the Austrian. Oh, and also just, oopsie, got Nandrolone in there also, but just, oh, never mind, that's not actually in there. So obviously this is where uh, Ariel's going to ask him about, you know, uh, what do you mean by hurt him outside the ring? And he's going to, you know, allude to the fact that he wants to sue him. So let's watch that. What kind of stuff is he messaging you about? Uh, he said some shit like, oh, uh, I didn't know. He said something like, I didn't know that you beat that you beat up Javante like that or some shit like that. Some, 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 some of that story he said. Okay. So he's trying to be cool they with you. Yeah, I, I get. I don't know. I guess. Interesting. Um, but like I said, it's no. It, we we not friends. It ain't none of that. We just, like I said, he gonna pay for it. He gonna pay for what he did in the ring and out the ring, and and that I mean that in many different ways. And I'd like to ask you about that. But just regarding the suspension, the million to to Golden Boy. Why is that? Why did they get? Why did they get a million? Um. Yeah, I, I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that. Um. Well, I'm trying. I'm I'm trying to. You know, my team is talking to the the commission and talking to to Golden Boy to figure out, you know, how how that works. Okay. And do you know how much you'll be getting from him? Uh I don't know. No, no. I, that, that, that's what that's what we're trying to figure out. But you know, it's, this, this whole situation has 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 you know cost me cost me money. You know, I, I, I've I've lost money during this 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 whole this whole situation, which. I disagree. I disagree. He thinks he's going to get paid less for his next fight. I don't agree. I think his next fight, everyone's going to watch it. Everyone is going to watch it. I think they is boxing, but like I said, he he will pay for 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 all for everything. When you say it's and, co- cost you money, do you mean because of the purse bid? Um. 
yeah, I mean that 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 is one of the ways that that it has cost me money. Um, yeah. What other ways? He's saying that he didn't really lose. He's saying that it, the, the loss is is going to be costing him purses because this loss was illegitimate. That's what he's going to say. I'm just going to save you guys watching it. That's what he's going to say. And uh, again, I don't think I need to uh, re relitigate this again. I, I like that relitigate. Uh, but no, no, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Now, I will also say again that if I if I thought that they fought again, they were both on weight, do I think Ryan Garcia for sure beats Devin Haney? Not at all. I think Devin Haney was distracted, as anyone would have been, you know? Um, As far as just in the future, me, future fights, right? That's the, it, it, has cost, it, ha, it has cost me. Okay. No, you're going to get paid more. If he comes out and does well in his next fight, like he comes out, looks really good in his next fight. This has done nothing but build his profile. Bottom line. I mean, that's, I, I'm looking in this guy's eyes. This is this like, listen, dude, Devin Haney. I, I'm real good at this, dude. He is a straight shooter. He seems a little bit naive to me, you know, like, but his eyes, he's not lying. He's not a liar, dude. He's really not. Victor Conti. That guy's a fucking liar. You want to see what a liar looks like? You just go look, watch Victor Conti talk. That guy is the most full of shit fucking person I've ever seen in my entire life, ever. Ever. He is a complete and total bullshit artist. And he's on this guy's team. I don't know. And like the read I get from, uh, I can't see Devin Haney's dad's eyes very often because he's always wearing sunglasses. My read is that I think Devin Haney's dad We'll work with Victor Conte, put whatever he needs. Like he's, he's, he looks at his son, he loves his son for sure, but looks at him like a racehorse that he needs to stay focused. He just needs to think about winning. He needs to think about training, whatever. Any of this shady shit. Do I think that, that Devin Haney's dad would be down to do some shady shit? Yes, I do. Uh, Victor Conte's fucking, his brand is shady shit. I don't even know what I'm saying, dude. I just think suing people is so bitch made. Okay, so here's the thing. Here is why the Mark Hunt and Brock Lesnar situation is different, okay? Mark Hunt sued the UFC because the UFC knew that Brock Lesnar was hot and he let him fight and he, and he didn't tell, they didn't tell Mark Hunt. He fought anyway and then he got his ass kicked. You know, like they didn't warn him, none of that, okay? So like if David Haney wanted to sue someone for this, he should have sued the fucking promoter, not Ryan Garcia because or whoever does it. Like why, if, I mean, Victor Conti founded Vada. Why didn't he fucking tell him? Why, why didn't he tell him that the, that the test was hot before the fight? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any, this, none of this makes any sense. Um, all right, let's move over to, uh, let's move over to uh, Logan Paul. If you guys watch my content consistently, when did I do a 180 on Logan Paul? Because it certainly was not related to the CryptoZoo thing. I defended him on CryptoZoo. Having been involved in projects like this, I was involved on the back end of a project like this, which we never launched, thank God. Okay, but I know we had no ill intentions whatsoever. Okay, you're talking about people who have the ability to market things. We don't really understand blockchain that well, you know, like or didn't then I understand it a lot better now. But like Logan Paul's job is not to understand all the ins and outs of a crypto project. And if everybody's launching and making millions and millions and millions of dollars, why would he not want to do that also? Okay, at the time, it was totally acceptable. It's only when the market fell apart that suddenly, you know, people are holding people accountable, which is, is fine. But I do not believe that Logan Paul had any, you know, uh, any intentions of, of scamming people. I don't believe he did. I still don't, okay? So, again, me talking about the crypto zoo thing, I hope that we're all, you know, like I did the 180 on him when he sued Dylan Dennis and straight up stated his intention to bankrupt him. Okay, so Logan Paul is taking legal action against popular YouTuber CoffeeZilla, claiming the internet investigator is purposely spreading lies to tarnish his reputation. Okay. Uh, the docs were filed on Thursday uh, with a WWE superstar suing CoffeeZilla, real name Stephen Find a Sign, and his production company for defamation over his deep dive into Paul's failed CryptoZoo project. Oh, wow. I mean, so he's suing him over a video. Listen, there's only one reason that Logan Paul would do this. 
There's one reason Logan Paul would do this, okay? He's trying to send a message to people who are going to make critical videos of him. Bottom line. That's the only thing that makes any sense here. Now, I don't know how that makes you feel in general. I actually softens me a little bit on it if I'm being totally straight, you know? If I'm being totally honest, like, I'm not, I'm not defending him doing it. I'm just saying understanding his motivation is to send a message to people who want to fuck with his business and his brands. I'm like, all right, I can understand that. If I like, I am, I am objective enough in my own kind of viewpoints on things to be honest about where I would sit if I was in a different situation. Okay. I I did a live stream the other day where I talked about the whole Dagestan attacks and you know, and why I never talk about Israel, Gaza. I don't talk about that stuff because I know if I was born in Palestine, someone got knocked off by an Israeli missile or whatever, my life would probably be dedicated to knocking off as many of them as possible. And if I was born in Israel and it was the inverse and someone kidnapped my sister or whatever, I would want to evaporate at the entire strip. Okay, like I get it. So I'm not judging anyone because it's just a matter of circumstance where I was born. If I was really good buddies with Logan, if I'd been like a good friend of Logan's for a very long time and people were constantly coming after him and I was advising him, like I'm a ruthless fuck. I would be like, look, you know what you need to do, dude? You have resources. You know what you can't do? You can't physically hurt anyone because you got too much to lose, right? So they want to bully you. They want to bully you from a position of this. Once you start bullying them back, start suing people, start burying them financially. Just start absolutely burying them. I would probably have given him that advice, okay? I'm not hit one of his good friends, though, okay? So I could say that, like, while simultaneously, and I, I said this on, on a video uh, that Gabrielle and I did. I was like, dude, if someone would have gone after Gabrielle the way that uh, Dylan went after Nina, I probably, I mean, I, I would have gone scorched earth, you know? I would have never been in a situation where I didn't know all that stuff, though. Let's just be honest. But nonetheless, but still, okay, that's why I'm not quite as hard on him as I'm about to be on Devin Haney. Like, with the Dylan Dennis thing, that is a completely different ballgame. They signed up to fight. He was talking trash. I only give him a pass in the event that I, it was me and my girl, okay? As anyone else on earth, I have to judge him harshly. I have to. And I also wouldn't bankrupt him, you know? Like, that's the thing is like, uh... Man, I have such conflicted emotions about that thing, man. I really do. I, I just, it makes me so mad. And simultaneously, I am just like self-aware enough to know that I'm irrational if someone fucks with my girl. I just don't even, you know, whatever. This situation though is like, this, like this shit's over. This CoffeeZilla thing is over. The fucking crypto th zoo thing is over. Do you really think that you're going to convince people that think you're a scammer, that you're not a scammer by suing Coffeezilla? Of course not. There's no way that's what he's doing because he's not stupid when it comes to social media. He is trying to set the tone. He's trying to threaten everybody. You fuck with me, I'm coming for you. That's what he's doing. Okay? He's got three lawsuits in the last 12 months against very public figures. There is absolutely no way that that is by, you know, happenstance. Okay? So... Paul makes note that CoffeeZilla launched, launched a subscription-based Patreon account right after uh, his first video targeting CryptoZoo, called on his viewers to pay for even more content. Paul believes this shows that CoffeeZilla knew how much attention he would get from calling the project a scam and saw it as a payday. But it was a scam. I'm saying it's not your fault. You know, like it was a rug pull. That's what it was. The Logan Paul crypto CryptoZoo thing was a rug pull. Of course that's what it was. You want to sue me for that, dude? I'm saying it's not, it's like, it's not Logan's responsibility to understand the, like he's the marketing vehicle for it, okay? These two scumbags right here, these guys are the scammers, okay? These two fucks set out to scam. And I've been consistent on this from the beginning. Look at these two fucking scumbags. Look at these guys, dude. These are crypto scammers. That's what these guys are. They look at, you know, these kind of guys look at Logan as like a useful idiot, right? They're like the crypto guys who understand how all this works. And they're like, yeah, you know, hey, Logan, we should partner with you. Like Logan got scammed for his reputation as much as everyone else got scammed for their money. These guys are pure scum, dude, okay? But the situation is over, you know, to like, to try to like relitigate this thing as if, as if like, the crypto things was like crypto zoo was like a super legit project and like, and CoffeeZilla was just being super unfair. That's dumb.
you know. Anyway, whatever. So uh, when things went south and the project failed to live, Paul expressed his frustrations and said he was being misled in text to his team, promising to hold everyone accountable. Okay. I dude, again, all this is doing is verifying what I had said about this project from the beginning, which was that you have scammers and Logan was just not one of them. Nonetheless, you know, Paul says CoffeeZilla knew damn well he didn't profit off the project and he actually lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in the process. That's exactly what I said too. But why are you suing him now? He also claims he al- he already laid out his plan to give users money back long before CoffeeZilla released his deep dive into CryptoZoo and to date he says he's given more than one million of his own money back to hundreds of NFT purchasers. Paul's intent with the lawsuit is to clear his name of the scammer stench and hopes going through the justice system will bring that result. He's seeking unspecified damages. I don't even, I have nothing to add to this, dude. 